Black Light, the day of judgment is here. Oh yeah, cause you're watching that garbage. You're blind, baby. You're blind from the facts. Oh yeah, cause you're watching that garbage. Blind, baby. You're blind from the facts. Oh yeah, cause you're watching that garbage. Have you forgotten that once we were brought here, we were robbed of our name, robbed of our language. We lost our religion, our culture, our God. And many of us, by the way we act, we even lost our mind. Yeah. Now. <clears throat> To continue on, uh, we left off with the Nation of Islam, but we want to add something to that before we uh, jump on to these other uh, people that's on trial. And uh, that's the Nation of Islam. If, if it wasn't for Brother Farrakhan, uh, due to the actions I don't want to offend, offend you brothers out there that follow Wallace Muhammad, but due to the actions of Wallace Muhammad, Wallace D. Muhammad, that you would have never heard of uh, Elijah at all, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad at all, and Miss, and, Fer, and uh, Master Farad at all. So, <clears throat> Mr. Farrakhan brought that back to life. And like I said, we all ain't perfect. But I do give him 75%. That's a good grade. This is my, you know, this is my judgment and my evaluation. You know. And uh, jumping on to this uh, next group. And that's uh, the House of Consciousness and all the ones that came out of that. Now, this is my evaluation of this particular group right here. Started off right, but it ended up wrong. Now, somewhere along the line, they were compromised. And what's happening now on YouTube with all these comments, criticisms, pro and con, with uh, polite uh, SETI, Young Pharaoh, uh, and Sinetta. Something is terribly wrong, and I believe that they've been compromised by the beast. I don't care what brothers say, you know. Uh, too much attention was focusing in on the beast. Too much history was coming out of uh, the house of consciousness. And then when they started making that money, the beast wanted it. He wants some of it. You know. It's just not them behind this. I don't care what you say. Because uh, all this is to, to, to distract you from real issues. Like the shooting down of black men and women. Ain't nobody talking about that no more. Ain't nobody talking about chemtrails no more. Ain't nobody talking about uh, King Alfred playing no more. You know. And these are the real issues. So Somebody uh, turned Judas for a few gold pieces, you know, and now all of this uh, 
it could be some infighting going on. True men fighting because they done found a, 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 a way to make some money. Now, I could go on and on, but all those ones that came into the house of consciousness, uh, some of them really thought it was a, a, a cool way to have a platform, you know, and uh, speak about their particular uh, science or religion. And then it went sour. And now they're trying to diss themselves from it. But they also using it to make money and to distract us from the real issue. Now we're going to have to clean house. We're going to have to clean house and we're going to have to uh, move forward. You got the White House and you got the Black House. That's why Obama was selected. To distract to distract uh, you from Bush and what all the war crimes Bush did and the Clintons did and the other Bush did. You know, he was a fall guy. Obama was a fall guy. You know, that's all he was. And he happened to have a name of Obama. But you must remember that he not like his his uh, bloodline ain't like our bloodline, the black man here in America, because his daddy was an African and his mama was a Caucasian. So he ain't like us. He didn't come up. His ancestors didn't come up the way ours did. But he had a Muslim name, and they dealing with Muslims. But he was compromised a long time ago because the church that he was dealing with, Reverend Wright and all them, they be hanging out with Farrakhan, you know. And they actually give talk good about Farrakhan. That's why Hillary told uh, Obama to denounce Farrakhan. Now, I ain't saying Farrakhan made no mistakes, but I can say that uh, out of all the leaders, uh, his heart is, is the most purest. You know, he has a sincere heart. And that's what you got to look at. You got to look at the intent. We all gonna make mistakes, and sometimes we come short of the mark. Just like we say, we gonna fast, so we we're not gonna eat no more meat, but we're not gonna do this and that and the other, and we make an attempt in our hearts. We really want to do it. Sometimes, you know, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know, and. But some brothers have integrity. They they know how to bounce back, you know. Some brothers and sisters, you know, they know how to come back with it. And that's what you got to look at when you're judging. You got to judge the tree by the fruit it bears. And the fruit of the tree of house of consciousness is bearing rotten fruit. That's just not one bad apple spoils the whole barrel, the whole bunch. There's a lot of rotten apples in that in that barrel on that tree. So you got to look at the root of that tree. You know, what's the root of that tree? And then judge that root. If the roof is rotten, you know, You ain't going to get nothing good out of that. So, you know, we, we, we judging today. This is the day of judgment. And I made a mistake in, the, in my first opening video saying 27. Uh, when I played it back, I meant to say 2017. When you uh, add up 
the 2 on to the 7, 17, you got uh, the number 10. That's, that's the way the numerologists do, do it. And the number 10 means starting all over again. So the day of judgment, judgment means starting all over again. Reforming. You know, in other words, correcting what's wrong. Straightening out what's wrong. You know, and making it right. And I got to say this, uh, before I, I, I'm getting off of these brothers, I don't want to stay long on them because I don't want to take focus off the beast, the main beast. Uh, you, my brothers and sisters, y'all are gullible to an extent, but you attract what's inside of you to you. You know, if you got some larceny in your heart, that's who you're going to attract. And if you're greedy and want to get rich quick, and somebody shows you how you can get rich quick, you know, you're going to get rich quick. A lot of you, a lot of y'all, you know, uh, uh, just, uh, you know, a, a, a mark for kind artists, you know. See, y'all don't look at the, uh, go deep inside the person. Not just the book by its cover, see. That's why I said in one of my videos that if a brother's sharp, he can run in and, and speak with a silky tongue. He can run anything up under you. Y'all looking at what he got on, his diamonds, and or how he speak. And... He could tell you, you know, uh, I'm living large. And I'm going to show you how you can live large. And then, on the other hand, when the brothers be speaking spirituality, or either history or the black man, you got to remember where they got the knowledge from. They got it from the Caucasian. Now, what's the only group that somebody came to Specifically to give them knowledge outside the Caucasian. Somebody that had supreme wisdom outside the Caucasian wisdom. Got to say Master Farah Muhammad. You see? And you can see that the universe was with them because look at all the adversity that they had forming the nation of Islam. Look at how J. Edgar Hubert who would try to bring it down? When you look on the King Alpha plan, you see that uh, the Nation of Islam is the number one priority on the FBI's uh, most wanted list. You know? So, you know, uh, that speaks for itself. All these other guys talking against it, tell them to produce something like it. And all these guys that's uh, uh, all over YouTube right now, they just distracting you from the bees. Don't take your ass off that bee.